And here we have it, guys! The whole update aquatic is out. We got turtles right in front of our face. It's out for everybody. Hype, hype, hype. Hey there, guys. Kabir for Roof Scoopy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you with an exciting full change log gameplay and everything of the full aquatic update so uh that said it's gonna be super exciting because uh, this is a monster change log uh, i'm on xbox guys and we actually waited like all the way till noon everybody else had it we get it last today uh that's okay because we are gonna start talking about it before we go any deeper into this holy cannoli we're gonna go for 492 likes if you are down with the cause and you want to show some love yeah Drop a like. That's how you do it. And okay. So, uh, guys, we're going to go over the change log. And then I think what we'll do is, you know, anything that stands out. These are some turtles, which is a new addition. We're going to have bubble columns somewhere around here. Hopefully, you'll find them. And yeah, so we're going to go through the change log. I'm going to skim. There's the first couple are important. This is going to be a long video, guys. Uh, there's a lot of bigger changes in this one. So uh, I'll go through it when we get to like the graphical stuff and the fixes like that. Probably just skim. I will link the entire change log in its entire hugeness uh, in the description below. So uh, yeah, let's start this bad boy off. Let's find something scenic uh, for uh, for my background while we do it. And uh, yeah, so let's open this one up. Log one realms are now available on Nintendo Switch. I think those are not quite working just yet. Uh, it might be. I'm not sure. The drowned, these dangerous underwater zombies that lurk in dark and they come to the shore at night. Sea turtles, these gentle creatures can be found swimming in oceans, tanning on beaches, protect their eggs so that more can hatch turtle shell. And sh I call it shoot. I think it's supposed to be called shoot. But yeah, parts of the turtle. What makes a turtle helmet? Potion of the turtle master. We did a whole video, guys, on the turtle. I just did it recently. I'm betting that there's going to get a lot of love, like, you know, 15 minutes talking about the turtle. Nautilus shells can be found while fishing or held by the drowned. Conduits can now be constructed underwater and give players the conduit power effect. Craft them with Nautilus shells and Heart of the Sea. Bubble columns, magma blocks create downward flowing columns, and soul sand creates upward flowing columns. So, very easy stuff. We'll show this at the end. I've already showed it so much. Uh, new achievements is, uh, yeah, place four sea pickles in a group, feed a dolphin a fish and have it lead you to treasure, use Riptide to give yourself a boost, activate a conduit. Uh, the conduit one is 50G, that's pretty good. Added new commands that only affect worlds in the EDU. Uh, ability, emulate, uh, immutable state of the world, world builder. So let's just keep going on this trail. Number two is the actual changes. Change the background menu to be themed for update aquatic. That's pretty cool. Um, that was with the turtles, basically. Undead mobs will now sink in water and can walk on the bottom. Improved the steering of boats when using a keyboard and mouse and pressing W to move forward and S to reverse dolphins can now be given raw fish or raw salmon and it will take you. So I think that's what's wrong because I tried to do it the other day and it didn't work so that's fixed. Uh, Hus will sink in water and now transform into zombies and zombies will transform into drowns. So basically they have two steps. That's pretty cool and interesting to think about here. Uh, it's going to take a little bit for it to turn to one then turn it to the other. I'm not sure how that's going to play in skeleton horses can now be ridden underwater skeletons and strays will switch from ranged to melee attack while underwater and then back when out of water coral blocks will no longer die as long as one side is touching water that was glitched out before uh a little bit glitched out i think as long as one side's good now you're good to go which will make certain pickle farms a lot easier i think uh, improved player swimming at the surface of the water tridents can now be chanted with mending come on that's so good you need mending on your trident and unbreaking so unbreaking mending riptide you know you're ready to go uh added an animation when using riptide in first person perspective slightly decreasing the friction of blue ice so that means blue ice is actually even faster now if they've decreased the friction that means that it's faster so yeah uh, i think blue ice was already super fast updated the texture pack the top of kelp updated texture of cooked fish updated the riptide spin texture default field of view has been reduced from 70 to 60 and can be ingested in video settings i haven't really noticed a difference uh on this one here 
Uh, Tridents will no longer break blocks in creative. The inventory button has been removed to the top of the store page. So I think what they're talking about there, guys, is uh, in the store, uh, you can have an inventory now, which is going to tell you all the things that you own. So you could go back, you know, and download the things over again instead of looking through the store for them. That was a pain. So uh, let's keep going. We're on number three of 11 pages, guys. Uh, fixed several crashes that included during gameplay. We're going to just skip right through. There's all kinds of stuff. If I see one that pops out, uh, that will do it, but basically they fixed up the proportion and um, the performance on ocean monuments on Android devices bunch of crashes good So let's go to general the personal game mode is now fully applied in game settings when switched from survival to creative the first mouse click after remapping an action is now recognized players will no longer inherit the host spawn inventory and location when rejoining a world with a resource pack removed that was obviously a glitch of some sort fixed players not being able to join worlds uh, fixed controller not being detected changes to the trust player permissions those were kind of messed up fixed an issue with save worlds not syncing from xbox one console so that's cool uh players without an xbox live gold membership can once again join and host land games so i guess you need live to play online and uh, before you couldn't even host it at your own house uh, i guess there was some sort of mess up there resource and behavior packs now properly enabled and disabled on realms when restoring backups or replacing worlds mob griefing game rule now converts properly from console edition worlds the castaway achievement is no longer unlocks before re completing the requirements so uh let's go over here we're, that one's on number three we're gonna go a little faster here gameplay so we're gonna go over this one there's a few here like graphical changes we'll just look at it quickly and just skip right by it uh flying speed now stays constant when descending in creative mode players will no longer actually drift up or down when swimming straight ahead fixed experience orbs not always being picked up i know that one was true bone meal is now depleted when used on kelp from a dispenser okay because that's uh they had a bunch of farms that were going that never used the bone meal from the dispenser dropped items can once again pass under top slabs so that's actually pretty cool tall birch trees will once again generate in mutated birch forests Fixed water flow being inconsistent and suspended around caves and ravines. Water flow super inconsistent. I think it'll be better now. Uh, splash water bottles now keep dolphins hydrated on land. Oh, hey, they know a little known fact. Uh, might work in some sort of farm there. Uh, pick block now works in survival mode. So that's pretty cool, actually. You know what? I think, I don't know. I thought maybe people thought that they weren't, it wasn't supposed to work. So if you have the block, you could pick the block. So I think you have to have it in your inventory for it to work. Uh, pick block now selects the proper variant of buttons and pressure plates players can no longer refill breath and breath underwater by swimming into ice blocks and breathe underwater uh, sneaking and jumping into water no longer prevents jumping or swimming upwards riptide can no longer be used when riding a mount fixed entering a minecart from another minecart passengers in a boat will now take damage when falling from a high place Fire resistance once again protects players from Blaze's rage attacks. Fixed an exploit that allowed players to get infinite lava buckets. I saw that glitch the other day. I was going to do a video on it soon. Uh, fixed an exploit that generated unlimited items and XP from furnaces. That's fixed too. Uh, players without permission can no longer attack mobs shooting arrows at them. Protection enchantments once again protect players from all types of damage. The friendly fire game rule now prevents damage from players using fire aspect. All this stuff decreased damage given by standing in lava when fire protection. Uh, TNT exploding underwater no longer deals damage and activating a dispenser with its exit covered and a bucket of fish inside will now drop the bucket of fish as an item. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's keep going. We're on. Uh, we're already going to be over 10 minutes and we're only on number five, but that's okay. Let's see if this is an important one. Items. So we got to talk about this one here. Uh, the trident will now be thrown in the direction the cursor is pointing at when you play in VR. Fixed tridents damaging multiple mobs in a single throw. Tridents can no longer be destroyed by explosions. Tridents thrown into soul sand now land properly and no longer prevent loyalty from working, which was a bug. Every time you see, uh, every time you see these green things, these are bugs that were fixed. So tridents thrown underwater will no longer in produce infinite bubbles. Tridents from a dispenser no longer have the same trajectory and will now lose durability. Woodland explorer maps once again point players correctly uh, to woodland mansions. Items no longer get stuck in flowing water source blocks. I'm gonna, I want to see that because a flowing water source block means this is. The guys what i'm mostly excited for i know this is a little delayed but the next you know 10 days are really easy for me because there's so many tutorials that i want to look at and believe me the way water flows is going to touch on all of them uh 
Dropped items no longer float against the current water current. Fixed received items disappearing and trading with a villager. Throwable items will no longer hit the player when there is a parrot riding their shoulder. Will no longer hit the player when there's a parrot right in their shoulder. That's weird. Uh, it's once again impossible to eat raw fish. Leather horse armor no longer loses its dyed color after converting a world. Arrows fired by skeletons can no longer be picked up by players. Honestly, that's my biggest, you know what? You know how many times I'm somewhere and I run out of arrows and I could just, you know, find a skeleton and kind of like, you know, take all of his arrows like that. Uh, these and balloons can no longer be attached to horses being ridden by players. Banners are no longer consumed from the inventory when placed in creative mode. So uh, let's go to number six. We got right here. Mobs, you know, we got to talk about everything. Honestly, I don't care how long the video is. We're going to do the video, right? We're going to talk about everything. The Ender Dragon will no longer get stuck. That's something that everybody saw. Dolphins and Cod no longer get the jitters when swimming in groups. Silverfish can once again enter stone blocks. Increased the collision size of fish mobs. Donkeys and mules no longer become horses after a console conversion. Mobs will no longer rotate their heads 360 degrees when in boats. Baby am animals will no longer take damage in boats. Zombie villagers created during world demolition generation are no longer super fast and scary. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fix the issues with zombie pathfinding and not attacking players. Guardians once again spawn in valid water source blocks. Fixed two elder guardians sometimes spawning in each chamber of the monument. Arrows fired by skeletons and strays can now damage the wither. That's interesting. Dolphins can no longer fully clip through magma blocks. Mobs will no longer spawn on top of redstone components. That's really cool, actually. That means you could cover the roof. Uh, that means you could cover the roof of something with just redstone, and uh, that would make it mob spawn free, which means you don't have to put half slabs or lights or all that stuff. That would make it cool. Uh, pumpkins are now consumed when creating an iron golem. Salmon will no longer get stuck on the edges of old world so let's go to number seven holy cannoli blocks fixed the hitbox of coral fans blocks can no longer be placed with no other block to support it when sprint flying underwater in creative mode uh command blocks can now be modified when set to repeat and always active fix blocks that were removed underwater not creating water source blocks uh, a lot of the bugs are gonna have to do with this water guys the water changing is really really kind of i think maybe what was the hard part here uh ice placed with on magma blocks in the nether no longer create water source blocks when melted powered observers can now properly form console edition worlds powered observers now convert properly yeah there's something messed when you transfer worlds and observers cauldrons with varying level water now convert properly as well tnt can no longer deal damage or destroy underwater blocks crops will no longer grow by repeatedly placing a full-size non-transparent block on them blocks once again be replaced when flying sideways in creative mode this is something dude i build a lot of walls and stuff in creative when i'm doing tutorials and i can never just hold sideways and hold down the button like i've done in every version up until now so i hope that's better uh decrease the time it takes to break coral fans in survival redstone torches torches and redstone torches can no longer be placed on seagrass underwater lava falling into the water with Seagrass or kelp now becomes stone. Armor stands can now be destroyed by tridents. Fixed flowing water incorrectly from stairs that contain water source blocks. Blocks can no longer be placed underwater without highlighting another block while sprint swimming in creative mode. Top snow will now break once it hits water. Top snow falling on a snow block no longer loses one layer. So let's keep up this train. There's a few that I think that's the meat of it. Uh, when we get into it, there's some quick and efficient ones here that we'll be going through. Uh, this guy right here, world generation, iceberg seagrass can no longer replace old blocks of an ocean monument. Uh, mutated savanna plateau and mutated mesa plateau now convert from old worlds. All overhangs and floating islands once again generate with grass or snow under them. Mesa Bryce biomes will now generate correctly. So Mesa Bryce is like pillars of Mesa. Uh, super rare. It was obviously a bug. So uh, yeah, let's keep going. We're on uh, 8A. So this is graphical, guys. This is where we're going to go. I'm just going to read a few going down. Uh, basically, water can be seen from behind glass. So the surface of water before you couldn't see the water. Uh, that's a really tricky one. Uh, they fixed a lot of stuff. Entities no longer become invisible. Uh, sometimes you couldn't see the entity. Basically, they worked on a bunch of textures with regards to uh, dark prismarine stairs, 
double doors look properly they minimize the animation i'll let you just pause if you want to go through let's go to the second part of graphical there's another little a little one here grass once again renders properly at further distance and certain angles guys that's true sometimes glass glass doesn't appear or you know something like that uh, they fix some textures again on low-end devices kind of the transition water now appears properly around ladders that's something we should look out for uh, flowing water now angles properly when flowing down it was so messed up before guys i feel like some of the tutorials are going to break because i did something to make it work when now the flowing of water is much different uh, flowing water touch stairs that contain a source block no longer causes flow. Hail bays now have the correct texture when held or seen in item frames. So number nine is pretty simple. Audio. Fix some sound effects for low items for low memory devices. Beacons now have sound effects. The drinking sound is no longer played twice. Keep going. Oh, guys, we're almost there. We're almost there. Number 10 user interface so we're going to go over this we might as well guys a 20 minute video why not i'm getting ready to fire up the tutorial world for real the thing that was stopping me is i just didn't want to make any tutorials until the actual update was out because i knew that the water flow was going to change 100 and that pretty much really does ruin a lot of builds so now that it's out i'm literally going to pop open a nice world and we're going to make some dope tutorials okay so the sign up button will now appear now disappear from the main menu after signing in pressing default selections button will only affect the control scheme that is selected improve messaging when there are no old worlds to sync Controller two tip will now appear when it is possible to place blocks underwater. Uh, fix the marker on a treasure map disappearing when another player quits and rejoins. Cache data once again appears on the storage screen. Enchantment names can now be seen on the enchantment table uh, with pocket edition UI uh, using keyboard and mouse. Image thumbnails and game modes for worlds and world templates now appear when searching on the storage screen. That's actually pretty good. Uh, the book on the enchantment table no longer overlaps. Uh, fixed spelling errors for, yeah, these things right here. <laughs> the manage who could send you invite buttons in profile now points to the proper location. Pressing down on the controller no longer loses focus on the chat field. Changes to a world's name when it initially created from a template will now update properly after saving and quitting. The paper doll no longer sticks out of the frame on the inventory while swimming. Fix slow list levels over four not appearing on the mob effect screen. Player model in the skin picker no longer covers the rotate icons in certain GUI scales. And yeah, we're on number 11. This is the quick one here, commands. Uh, the coordinates of buried treasure are now accurate when using locate. Uh, seagrass obtained by commands is now functional and stackable. Special symbols in a player's nickname no longer cause syntax errors when trying to teleport to that player. Using the spread players command will no longer set entities or players at 255. Ladders no longer appear as invisible blocks when collision with place blocks and set block. Map items now have the proper name displayed in chat. Replacing or mo moving containers no longer causes items from the container to drop on the ground. Uh, updated templates. This is uh, some stuff for mods and modders. Uh, humanoid mobs can now hold items in their offhand. That's pretty cool. Uh, again, this is more for mod modders, I think, uh, when they're making their map packs and stuff. So, yay! Ho ho, bro! Hey, Skip, you want to you read some stuff for 20 minutes, bro? holy cow so uh long story short we're in the world now guys turtles is uh turtles is the main kind of uh yeah i would say turtles is uh pretty much the only re the biggest thing turtles and bubble columns and conduits so let's just grab ourselves a little night visions you know we like that night vision where's the night vision usually it's right there it is right here it's moved you can tell they've added stuff because uh, that wasn't there before okay so Turtles, there was already turtles here. You can see the drowned mobs are real. This is a, a thing, you can see them right here. These guys here will give you, uh, I believe, a one in 10% chance to have a trident. So you can see when joining in the world, it's kind of key. Uh, it's kind of key to get your first all trident. You're gonna want these drowned mobs around. Keeping an eye out, we're not looking too deadly. The drowned mobs aren't really that out of control. You know, you can tell a bunch spawned right there. Hopefully, uh, they might spawn more at night, I'm thinking, something like that. In addition to that, we're going to have turtles. I'm pretty sure, like, when I started this video 20 minutes ago, the turtles were all there, and then I think all the turtles left. That's pretty entertaining. So let's just let's just uh, focus on the shore, baby. 
basically turtles will uh, hang around warm beaches so you can see this guy right here we got our turtles very cool they will drop turtle turtle shell or basically these turtles if you give them uh, seagrass they will make uh, baby turtles they will only do so guys uh, on their home beach so this is clearly their home beach so if you do this right here these guys are gonna be like and they're gonna be like hey let's make some baby turtles and they're gonna make it but if they were far away guys they might be following me right now because I did that but you're gonna see they're gonna make a scene one of them is gonna decide all of a sudden to start sh shaking and flapping uh, and when they do do that that means that uh, the baby turtles are gonna come out baby turtle eggs will be laid on the beach they can be between one and four these turtles will only lay them on their own beach as well uh, in addition to that those baby turtles, once they grow old, will drop a, sh a shoot. Uh, five of these shoots is what you use all together in place to make a turtle helmet. The potion of water breathing is yet another thing you could do with these turtles, our friends here. And uh, that will give you water breathing, breathing and all that stuff. This turtle right here is about to make babies, I'm pretty sure. I'm thinking it's going to find a nice spot. In addition to that, you got to be careful because zombies pigmen all of these things are gonna hunt down your bait your turtle eggs and stompity stomp all over there you know what i mean done done and done so uh in addition to this we have the conduit um i think you know what let's spend we got a 20 minute video why not let's just do con do there we go <laughs> i love it so let's uh, grab this and then uh, let's just grab some sort of prismarine because that's what you need. And uh, yeah, I did a whole video on all these things. I'm pretty sure that they're going to start to do their rounds actually now. Uh, prismarine. They're going to start to do their rounds now. They got already a fair amount of popularity, which means that uh, long story short, the conduit is this item. It's basically a beacon, guys. When you when you really look at it, it's going to need five. It's like a you think about it like an enchanting table. You need You need to have that space. So let's say this guy here this guy here this guy here i guess you could even just put it right on top of it and there you go so basically in order for that to go it has to be like that actually i wonder if you could stack conduits no that's okay we're gonna do it basically you want a space in between the conduit and so this guy's gonna go here and then this guy's gonna go here and here so there you go space around the conduit one on each side just like this and then it's going to go up and we're going to activate it certain things happen it's also going to kill mobs negative mobs that come within it basically this is uh this is the new conduit you can see we want one around it like this just like an enchanting table kind of that's the way i look at it you hear that noise done done and done you could beef this guy up by simply uh making the rings wrap all the way around just like this but you can hear that throbbing kind of sound. Perfect. There's going to be a bunch of toots for this coming up soon too. But this, I think, I wonder if you could see it. But once it completes, you're going to see maybe it's going to increase. And now you can see that there's more of these little things coming. So there you go. Bad mobs around here will get... Uh, zzz, 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 zzz. And yeah. And then last but not least, let's go over again. Here's a... Here's a guy with a trident. Look at that. Fresh and clean. We got a drowned with a trident. Let's see if we can't find. So we got a drowned with a trident. But the hard part is, I guess, I'm pretty sure drowned is going to be the where you get the Nautilus shells. So in order to get the Nautilus shells, you're going to have to find the drowned. And uh, I believe that there's a rare occasion for them. I'm thinking that you can also find these Nautilus shells in treasure as well. I think we'll find out more of the specifics after. But... From what I gather, these ruins right here, look how cool this ruins is. The ruins is on the side of this and a ship right next to each other. So supposedly in earlier days, I heard that these that these were supposed to have, ruins would have drowned around them more. So I think we'll have to wait and find out the exact story about this. But there you go. We got treasure map and yeah, there's various other ways to get treasure. I think I'll leave it at that, guys. 20, 25 minutes love it love it love it guys what i want to hear from you if you are og member of the channel and you're actually still watching 25 minutes later listen to me chirp about how things work uh put in the comments what tutorials you want to see first i know that i'm going to be doing a trident farm asap i know that we're going to be doing a new kelp farm just basically a turtle farm as well and yeah don't forget to smash the like and subscribe to my channel for stuff thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one.